Prince Harry and Meghan shocked the world with the accusations they made in their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. They claimed that a senior member of the royal family made racist comments about their son Archie before he was born. Meghan also implied she believed the reason Archie was not given the title of prince is due to his race, although this was debunked because he was never entitled to that rank as per letters patent dating back to 1917. They also claimed the firm failed to grasp that the abuse Meghan was facing was racially charged and therefore on a different level to abuse that other royals have faced. Harry said, but what was different for me was the race element, because now it wasn't just about her, it was what she represents. While such claims took many people aback, former US First Lady Michelle Obama said she was not completely surprised. In an interview with NBC's Today, Co-host Jenna Bushhager said it was heartbreaking to hear Meghan describe how there were conversations and concerns raised about how dark Archie's skin might be before he was born. Michelle said, As I said before, race isn't a new construct in this world for people of color, so it wasn't a complete surprise to hear her feelings and to have them articulated. I think the thing that I hope for, and the thing I think about, is that this, first and foremost, is a family. I pray for forgiveness and healing for them so that they can use this as a teachable moment for us all. In a separate interview given to Access Hollywood, Michelle expressed hope of reconciliation between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. She said, My hope is that, when I think about what they're going through, I think about the importance of family, and I just pray that there is forgiveness, and there is clarity and love and resolve at some point in time. It is known that both Michelle and her husband, former U.S. President Barack Obama, got on very well with the Queen during their stint in the White House. Michelle even broke protocol to give the Queen a hug but Her Majesty actually reciprocated. This week, President Joe Biden has come to the UK for his first overseas trip since taking office. He has joined Prime Minister Boris Johnson and five other world leaders at the G7 summit in Cornwall, where topics of discussion include vaccine distribution and climate change. Bilateral talks between Mr. Biden and Mr. Johnson yesterday were branded, terrific, by Downing Street. On Sunday, the Queen will host Mr. Biden at Windsor Castle at the end of the G7 talks. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams has argued that the monarch's good relationship with the Obamas will help the two bond, given that Mr. Biden was vice president under Mr. Obama for eight years. He said, the Queen had a very friendly rapport with the Obamas and this is undoubtedly of significance. Both she and President Biden have enormous experience and both are examples of how persons of advanced age can continue to make significant contributions to national life. He will be aware that she is the world's most high-profile head of state and the only one remaining who saw service in the war. The meeting between them will therefore be a particularly special occasion. However, Mr. Fitzwilliams did note that the president's own comments about Meghan's interview may be an issue. Mr. Biden praised the Duchess' courage for speaking about her mental health through his White House press secretary Jen Psaki. Ms. Psaki said, for anyone to come forward and speak about their own struggles with mental health and tell their personal story, that takes courage. And certainly that's something the president believes. And he's talked about investing in these areas. Nevertheless, the Queen, as the ultimate diplomat, will no doubt be able to smooth this over and move past it to form a strong relationship with the new US president.